to park it round the back. So the bloke will give it a clean as well. There's the keys. You kidding me? I'm up to my neck as it is. We'll get Tommy to do it. Tommy to do what? Ah, uh, there. Needs a valet. You not told him? Well, I wasn't sure if you were serious or not. Serious about what? I've quit. Since when? Since yesterday. You start my new job today. So how come I'm only hearing about this now? Because I was hoping he'd come to his senses. I'm looking to the future. You already had a future with us. Tight, I don't want to do this again. Kev, thanks for everything, mate. See you around, lads. What job? Search, mate. I can't wait to see their faces. Oh, Lewis. I mean, are you sure we're doing the right thing? Caught? Well, it's a big step. Well, you were all for it before. <sighs> I know. But when all's said and done, it's family. My grandson. There again. Oh, would you turn the music down, Lewis? Yeah, with, with pleasure. How do you think you're doing? In fact, better still unplug it. You're the boss. Right, you've been warned. I'm calling the police. Kylie, hang on. Grant, you know full well you're not allowed to step foot in here. I think you'll find I am, David. What's this? It's a letter from my solicitor saying that I am taking you to court. I'm sorry? Oh, you heard. Look, I'm putting an end to this farce once and for all. You are under a harassment order. Which is trumped by an interim injunction. It's all there in black and white. I don't get what this means. Well, it means, David, that you cannot exclude me from these premises anymore, nor do anything that would deem to affect or damage the business, my business. And a good example of that was that music you could hear blaring out two streets away. Really sorry about this, Mrs oh. Hilton. We don't have to listen to this. Just belt up a minute, Carly. It says here that I forced you to sign this salon over to me. Are you for real? You misrepresented your intentions to her. It's the same thing. That is total rubbish. Yes, well, tell that to the judge. What do you reckon? I love it. That's over the top. Nice, ace. Would you like that? Feast your eyes on this little beauty. <laughs> now that is class. Thought you'd approve. <laughs> There's 500. I want you out and about spreading the good news. Use a Duckworth gift of the gab. No cobs. Then what? Then you can help me interview some staff this afternoon. Seriously? Of course. We're partners, aren't we? There's a contract being drawn up as we speak. Nice one. Um, I was going to ask you about wages. Wages? Behave yourself. We're talking profit share here, kidder. Oh, uh, even better. Just you wait. We're going to make a great team, you and me. Weatherfield won't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> hey, my dad's got sigh after school, so I thought maybe we could pop out, have a bit of dinner. Oh, I don't know. I've got tons of work to do. You wanted the updated stock list, Carla, so... Thanks. I've got that. This is odd. What's odd? Right, well, if you need anything else, just let just me know. sex out. This might concern you. It's an email from Frank's solicitor. They want to meet me at one o'clock today. Oh, how, well, how come? Don't, don't say. Must be about the shares, though, right? Well, it must be. Yeah, it most certainly is. Yeah, it's got to be. Right, well, remember to tell them I'm willing to pay cash. I mean, anything to speed things along. Right, well, I'll get out your hair. Oh, fingers crossed. Looks like it's happening. Maybe I should come along with you. No, I'll be fine, honest. You sure? Hundred percent. Okay then. Well, give us a bell when you're done. I know what you're going to say. Involving Sally is a mistake. Beggars can't be choosers. Carla, look, just try and let it go, okay, for my sake. Where are you going? I'm just going to pop down the precinct, get a few things for Simon. All right, I'll give you a lift if you like. It's on my way to the brewery. Ah, thanks. So you're planning on seeing him? Yeah, touch wood. Yeah, but you be careful. Oh, don't worry. Ken and I have got it all worked out. Well, I won't say a word. <laughs> I'm on my way now. I'll see you after lunch. OK, love. <laughs> don't forget to hide the shopping bags. I'm sorry. I thought you were going to the brewery. Oh, I think you'll find that's just a cover story. <laughs> well, now I'm confused. Yeah, me now. He thinks I'm going shopping for his birthday present, which I'm not. It's your birthday. On Friday. I didn't know. Yeah, well, I'm not one to make a fuss. What? Surprised you haven't got a banner up. <laughs> so how old? Um. Forty-nine. Oh, cheers. Pleasure. To wrap. I hear them Bluetooth car stereos are good. In your dreams. Uh, Leanne. 
Not getting involved. I'm sure she'll get you something nice. Yeah. 49's not that old. No, not that young either. Actually, I'll have two of these uh, egg and tomato bombs. She is right. Can I have a few of these on the counter? Certainly. Yes. That's unbelievable. Is this what you left the garage for, is it, eh? To fly post some dive? Uh, it's not some dive. It's a cocktail bar. It's a, a very classy late-night venue. So our name's Seven Feven, anyway. Well, the spelling is certainly unique. Oh, using numerals instead of letters. That's an assault on the English language. Hang on a bit. This says Viaduct Street. That's Terry's... You working for Terry? Might be. Well, that explains the secrecy. Are you out of your mind? He's me dad. He's no one. He's explained everything to me. Yeah, I bet he did. Tight. Well, if you want to be his lackey, then that's fine by me. We're building something from the ground up here. Terry Duckworth doesn't build. He destroys. Don't say he didn't warn you. Who fancies the dinner time pint? This can. I'm not going to fail to pick up hope. <laughs> Is? Sorry, I'm into a new book. <laughs> what about you, Sal? No, I'd rather not. I need to keep a clear head in case Carlin needs my input. Well, I'm not planning on getting bladdered. Well, even so, I'd rather not. It doesn't send out a good signal. Not even management yet, and already we're lepers. Hey, leave her alone. There's nothing wrong with having some ambition. Thank you, Izzy. Just remember where you came from. Mm, I'll always be the same old Sally. <laughs> That's what worries us. Yeah. Looks like it's just us two at the Rovers. Uh, maybe some other time. Have I got B.O. or something? No, he's trying to avoid Stella. How come? Because, oh. um, Betty left a hot pot recipe to Sean. Mm -hmm. oh. Which means to say that I have been endowed with a Weatherfield institution. Good for you. So what's the problem? But the problem is, Betty is quite a tough act to follow. Yeah, and he can't cook to save his life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sean, <laughs> you can't avoid Stella forever, can you? Especially considering how you work there and everything. <laughs> Oh, come on, the woman's all back. I've got your back. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, look at all these cancellations. Mrs. Barker, Mrs. Chamberlain, Mrs. Jacobs. Oh, God, it's a mass exodus. Tell me about it. Brought in new clients. Yes, and driven away all the old ones. Old being the operative word. <laughs> you still here? He doesn't say out in this letter about us leaving. More's a pity, thank you. Right, so what's the answer then? We're going to have to call a truce before the court case, right? Which will win. And pigs will fly. No, not another word. No, Audrey, no, please, I'm... Lewis, honestly, I cannot be doing with any more stress. <clears throat> Oof. Anyway, now, uh, this is how it's going to work. Uh, till we go to court, David, you will find your own clients and I shall just have all the existing ones. Like we want them anyway. Yeah, and Maria, you'll work with me. Right. Fine by us. And me? Oh, hi, Mrs. Haverswade. Yes, you're 12.30. OK. Maria, would you do the honours? Mm. With love. pleasure. Come with me. I believe that's 1-0. You mark my words. This is the beginning of the end. Never the optimist. Doris, they haven't even opened yet. Don't you think you're getting a bit ahead of yourself? Hiya. What's going on? Have a look. They're calling it a late-night venue, but we all know what that means. Oh, I like what they've done with the seven. Mmm, dead sophisticated. Sparing you. you. You should be up in arms. It's your business they'll be taking. Yeah, but it'd be after hours. It might even bring in a younger oh, crowd. Lord help us. If you ask me, it's about flaming time. This area's got less atmosphere than the moon. I couldn't agree more, which is why I'd like to offer free VIP membership to all friends and local business owners. Oh, you've got a nerve. No. Just a vision and a son that shares it. All right. What can we expect? Hiya. Sorry to interrupt, but I'm a bit lost. I'm looking for a Unit 7. Are you now? Well, it seems you look in. I'm Terry Duckworth, the owner. Um, co-owner. Uh, yeah, my mistake. Look, love. Name's Cherry. Uh, the thing is, Cherry, if you've come for the audition, you're a bit early. You mean the interview? Well, interview, audition. It's all the same package when the cherry pops on. <laughs> Got that top. Changed to my awful. Steady, Norris. Steady. <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> I said, what's going on? I took the words right out of my mouth. Well, come on, then, out with it. I'm opening a lap dancing club. 
What of it? Out before I lay you out. All right, keep your hair on. You let me know, yeah? Absolutely, love. You want to try having a sense of humour, love. And you want to try having some self-respect. Ta-ra! Seventh Ever's a strip club. It's a table dancing establishment. There's a big difference. Yeah, it's called a G-string. You should have told me. I thought you knew. Well, I think it's disgusting. Here, here. It's not a brothel, it's a bar with dancers. Who take their clothes off? These places are all over nowadays. He's got a point. Walk up any high street in the country and you'll find one. This isn't a high street, it, it's a residential area. Mm. With young families. Everything that happens there, it happens behind closed doors. Exactly. What you even said yourself, it might bring us some trade. A trade being the operative word. And I must say, I'm surprised at you. You've got to speculate to accumulate, haven't you? Oh, is that what you're going to tell Tina? She'll understand. You're exploiting women, Tommy. Somehow I doubt that. We're providing employment opportunities. Well, come on, son, we don't need to listen to this grief. We're the future. This lot, they're the past. I'm proud of it. Oh, and you stay there once a word. Don't leave me. It's all yours, Stale. See ya. Eleven minutes on hold. I'm gonna kill someone. I can think of a few possible candidates. You're not seriously gonna let this get to court, are you? Look, Gran gave this salon to me, right? I didn't ask for it, she gave it. Yeah, in error, David. Well, that's her problem, not ours. Oh, hi. Yeah, um, I, I had a massage chair that was booked in for delivery today. Yeah, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to cancel. It... Sorry, um, there's been a mix-up. Yeah, yeah, we're good to go. Thanks. What are you doing? Not losing my bottle. You've read a solicitor's letter, though, haven't you? Stuff a solicitor and stuff Audrey. We're in the right here. No retreat, no surrender. <clears throat> yeah, OK. <laughs> and that is why I love him. Oh, what did the council say about next door? Uh, I had a word with the planning department. They're going to look into it and get back to me. A lap dancing bar around here, that's unbelievable. Looked like you needed that. Mm. Well, cheer up. At you're back in situ. Nick, taking my grandson to court is hardly a cause for celebration, love. At least you're back in charge. No, hardly, Lewis. I can't believe it's come to you. We should be talking. Mum, he had his own gran arrested. I know, but that's David, isn't it? I mean, he acts impulsively and then regrets it. Well, can't he dripping poison into his ear? Maybe you should have a word with him on his own. We're past that now. Oh, so now you're an expert on my son? No, no. Well, then I'll thank you to keep your opinions to yourself. Well, it, it's Sodom and Gomorrah all over again. I beg your pardon? The Duckworth dynasty has reared its ugly head. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the seventh heaven, my eye. If you're going to talk in riddles... Terry Duckworth and his errant son are opening a lap-dancing club next door to the bistro. Oh. Yeah, a bar full of mucky women. How mucky? There was one in the Rovers earlier doing a so-called routine. Oh, dear. Well, she could have had some desire with the bust on her. Well, I've heard everything now. Oh, this is a disgrace. We can't oh, just stand by and let it happen. There's a meeting in the Rovers later to, to, to plan our strategy. Oh, well, count me in. And me. <laughs> if you could mind the shop where I drum up some support. Oh, uh, fine by me. And if Terry Duckworth thinks he can walk all over the likes of us, <laughs> there's another thing <laughs> coming. I just spoke to Nick. He's fuming. Oh, better break out the pitchforks and torches, then. Right. What do you call this? Uh, hot pot. Don't get clever. It's the last hot pot. Oh. Have you promised me a new batch? Well, well yes, but... Um, so where is it? Well, I've been having a few technical problems. Technical problems? Yes, you see, because technically, I'm not a very good cook. OK. But I have been learning rapidly. Honestly, Stella, I better get back to the factory. Not before you give me that recipe. Well, I should pretend I never heard that. Betty has left me this sacred trust. You may as well ask me to chop my own arm off. Don't tempt me. Look, I, I just need a few more days to perfect the process. You have got to the end of the day. Stella! It's the hot pot or the high road to make myself clear. Yes. Don't let Betty down. Sean should be back by now. I tried to fend Stella up, but she went out it. Heads up. Hi. Good news. She was step into the office. 
So, how much and where's it going? Oh, this is kind of difficult. The thing is, Sal, is... I don't actually need your money after all. I'm not sure I follow you. Frank left me his shares. Oh. Oh, yeah. Apparently he amended his will when we were engaged and he never changed it back. He must have forgotten all about it. Well, that is a turn up for the box, isn't it? I'm really sorry, Sal. And I really appreciate your offer. Well, it was a very big maybe. You're still a valued member of this team, you know. Oh, yeah, indeed. Did you need a minute or get your coffee or something? No, the show must go on and all that. This is so out of order. No, that's what I told him. I did some digging at council. He's got planning permission and everything. Persons haven't even been consulted. Yeah, well, uh, I'm only relaying what I've been told. Still sounds suspect. All I know is we need to get organised. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll gather the troops. Yeah, anything you need, count me in. Oh, you know me, love. Power to the people. You'll join, won't you? I feel bad turning over Tommy. This is the same Tommy you call me evil and manipulative. Count me in as well. Blimey. It's a bit big, isn't it? It's all part of the experience. Punters won't know what's hit them. So how much are we going to jack the prices up, then? At least 20%. Pitching. I'm going to offer the full pampering package. Hands, feet, scalp, followed by a full body stretch. Body stretch? Yeah, it's one of the programmes. It also does shiatsu, kneading, rolling and floating. <laughs> Fancy a test drive after closing. Mm, you had me at she answer. Mm. <laughs> hey up. Perfect timing. What on earth is that? It's a massage chair. We thought we'd diversify. No, no, no. Oh, no. I am not having that thing in my salon. It's my salon. Yeah. You can take that back. You can take it inside. You set foot on those premises and you're breaking the law. Don't listen to him. I am deadly serious. What are you doing? Oi! Sorry, mate. Check it out with my gaffer. Oh. What? I believe that's 2 0. Kenneth, we're knocking on the back door for ages. Oh, you're upstairs. I'm sorry. No! Oh. Come, come in quickly. Come on, come in. Come, 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 come in. I guess what I did at all right, today. All right, just a minute, let me get my coat off. <laughs> Come on, I'll make us a cuppa. Who is it? It's your so-called son. I know she's in there now, open the door. Open the poxy door, Dad. I'm not going to ask you again. Ken, just let him in. No, no, we can hide. No, no, he's too late for that side. Just do as he asks, Ken. It's all right. How long's this been going Look, on? I can explain. Oh, don't bother, Ken. A couple of weeks. I never had you down as a Judas. Peter, please. No, you betrayed me. I begged him to let me see Simon, OK? You cannot keep the child from his mother. She's not his mother. Oh, do you know what? I am sick of this, Peter. Right, come on. No! Yes, no, come on. Oh, Peter, please. No, can't Just you see alone. what you're doing? What are you doing to him? All right, you want to take sides with Leanne? He's off limits to you and all. Oh, now, come on. No. We're going home, yes. No, no, Mum! Mum! No! Out. Mom. no. Come. Oh, Get out. I don't know, really. Just after everything I've been through, I'm actually better off than I was before. Hmm. Well, financially, maybe, but what you've suffered, nothing can make up for that, can it? No, I suppose. I think I'm just not used to good luck. <laughs> well, you've earned it, Carla. You've earned it ten times over. Yeah, yeah, I have. This is a brand new beginning, Michelle. And you and me, 
We're taking this place into the stratosphere. <laughs> now you're talking, boss. <laughs> <laughs> You can't stop us from making changes. Yeah, the rules okay, of an injunction are Thanks. quite clear. Right, that was another cancellation. You know you are ruining my business. Mm. It's his business! Hey, what's going on up here? You're not halfway down yes, the street. Your son and his wife are attempting to break the law. Oh, put a sock in it already. Don't you dare talk to him like that, lady. Grant, he's making a fool out of you. He's just playing us against each oh, other. Oh, please. Well, he does have a point. Don't oh, just change the record, girl, please. Well, he had a come <laughs> sniffing around, none of this would have happened. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, and Audrey would have been hung out to dry by your precious you have the gall to lecture me after everything you've done. Which I atone for, absolutely. Because you saw a chance at the jackpot. Mm. Yeah. Do you think he'd look twice at you if you weren't minted? How dare you? You're the only gold digger around here, you little trollop. <gasps> what did you say? No, that is enough. Just because you know money, you know, doesn't mean I won't give you a slap. Oh, I need to do this for some time. Oh, that it? is enough. Please. You better go, Louis, till things have calmed down. Ah. Ah. Audrey? Ah. Ma'am? Ma'am? David, what's happening? There's someone call an ambulance. Oh. Go on. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Um, it's going to be all right. Oh. It's going to be all right. For ambulance, please. <laughs> well, I think my grand's having an heart attack. <laughs> and we're back in Coronation Street in half an hour. <laughs>